honestly, let's start with this. Like, did you ever consider playing football over baseball? Because, I mean, dude, you scored 38 touchdowns your senior year. That's, like, that's not normal. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Uh, I think it was my junior – after my junior year, I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to go play baseball. But um, with football, I, lo- I love playing football, but Friday nights were my favorite nights. Uh, I I didn't really care to go to practice, and that's where I was like, I can practice baseball and be fine, but when it came to football, not not so much because, I don't know, football was just – I didn't like practice. I never, I never really liked it. I didn't see any point in hitting during the week. Uh, never made sense to me, but I did it. So I guess it, uh, it helped out a lot. There, like thirty-eight touch, like you're nearing Derrick Henry territory there. I mean, have you seen Derrick Henry's high school stuff? I mean, it sounds like you were pretty close. I don't know how close, but I know I was uh, close to a few other guys. But yeah. Um, yeah, I was, I was pretty close. I, yeah. I got to look back on it. It was a good hobby. I liked it. So, okay. So, who is – Georgia is obviously a very football-rich state. Who are the best players you got to play against? Oh, wow. So, oh, wow. Um, I don't know if I played against them. But I know uh, – there are a few – I don't know. I, don't, I, I really don't know. There are a few guys that went to uh, – I know Tyler Simmons. Uh, he was there. Uh, he played at UGA. Uh, I got a whole bunch of my be- like best friends that are like um, college athletes and stuff like that. But uh, playing against some guys, are probably going to see this. They're going to be really upset because I don't remember some of the guys that I played against, <laughs> and uh, I kind I kind of feel bad bad about it too. So um, I don't want to lie to you guys. I have no idea. <laughs> did you get to did you get to play against like Trevor Lawrence or is that a different league? He was in a different league. So no, oh, he was okay. in a different classification. But okay. uh, I did I actually found out I think I was on his uh actually yeah, name drop for uh I think the when I was in high school in my senior year, I think uh I think Justin Fields was in our like our county and I won uh county player of the year or something like that. And so I, I think I beat him and uh, Trevor Lawrence and a few other guys. I thought it was pretty cool. So I can look at that and be like, ah, I'll, say, nope. yeah. I'll say that's pretty cool. That's something you put up on your mantle and you, yeah. you we go 10 years down the line. It's like, Hey, you see that guy on TV? Yeah. <laughs> I beat him out. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> see, all it takes is, is sitting to think about it for a little bit. It's like, who did I play? Who did I play? Oh yeah. We beat Justin Fields. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was like, Ro- did Roquan Smith play high school football in Georgia? Like is he a, is he a Georgia guy or is he from Florida? I I don't know. He he's like a good bulldog, so you'd have to assume yeah. there's a pretty decent chance he's from Georgia. Yeah, there's some pretty guys. There's some pretty good guys there. Yeah, but yeah, I I did it. <laughs> <laughs> so let me flip the question around now. Best high school baseball player you played against? Ooh, played against. Uh, or, how about like high school baseball player in Atlanta? I should say Atlanta area. Oh, that's a big question. I would say, oh man, uh, I don't want to say against because I really, like I said, I can't really remember who I played against. I know, like, um, I mean, oh, it'll, yeah, it'll be my dog, Will Benson. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it'll, it'll be Will Benson with the uh, uh, Cincinnati Reds. Uh, he's like one of my best friends, but we played him in my sophomore year. We, he hit, I think he hit a walk off, uh, kind of like run rule against us going into my, uh, going into our spring break. And it, I, it had to have gone about 450 feet plus. And so I remember seeing that and I was just like, that's pretty impressive. Uh, so I, th- I would say Will, Will, yeah, Will, cause he was built like, I mean, six five, but he was just built like a man among amongst boys in high school. So, uh, and then he would go out in springtime or wintertime and then drop thirty or forty in a basketball game. So he would probably be one of the best. Speaking of you playing in high school and the football baseball crossover, we heard a story down the grapevine of you when you were playing at a perfect game tournament. I would imagine 
were rooming with A.J. Brown. Yes, that A.J. Yeah. Brown, the, the wide receiver for the Philadelphia Eagles. And I think your words were something along the line of, hey, I'm pretty nice at football. And then A.J. <laughs> pulls out his phone and is like, hey, here's my highlights. And you're looking and you're like, oh, well, that might, that might, that, <laughs> that's pretty good. Something along those lines. Did I get all that right? Yeah, pretty pretty much. I, you know, I, I was like, yeah, I play I play I play football too, man. You know, I I dabble in a little bit. And he was like, yeah, I'm going to. I think at that time he was thinking about either Ole Miss or uh, Mississippi State because I think he's from Starkville. And uh, he said that, and I was like, I was like for football. He was like, yeah, man. I was like, I was like let me let me go ahead and look up this guy right quick. I, I don't know anything. You know, let, me, let me see who he is. And I saw his highlights, and I said, "Oh yeah, this uh, this guy's pretty pretty good." And then uh, his freshman year, I think he was playing against I don't know, he was playing against some team or something like that. And I just saw him like dust past like a DB or something like that, and I was like, "Yeah, he didn't lie to me." And then obviously a little bit further, he was a All American in football and baseball. So I was like, "Yeah, this guy's probably a little bit better than me at football." So uh, yeah, it was it was pretty cool. That was I always tell people that's my claim to fame right there. I don't really remember him that much as a baseball player. Like, what was he like? I forget what position he played. Uh, he was outfield. I think uh, I think either I was in left field and he was in center. But, uh, yeah, he was an outfielder, and he was he was cold. I mean, like, fast hands, um, you know, just as, you know, lightning bolt on the base pass. Like, he did it all. Uh, I don't really want to give too much of a comp, but – I don't want to say Bo Jackson, but like the way he was kind of built and the way he did stuff, it was like it was Bo Jackson esque, and that's a hope that's a little. I hope I'm not giving too much credit, but it was pretty impressive. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say if I'm a catcher in the state of Georgia, or actually no, so he was from Mississippi or wh- wherever you guys are playing in the the international tournament, and I, I'm I'm waiting for a throw in from the outfield, and AJ Brown's coming down the third base line. <laughs> uh, I'll pass. Yeah, yeah I'm not getting in front of that. <laughs> Okay, maybe the hardest hitting question I'll ask you in this whole interview, Taylor. Did AJ Brown really make the right decision leaving baseball for football? Because I'd say it's I'd say it's fairly questionable, obviously. Yeah, yeah, he made he made the best decision. <laughs> uh, yeah, he. Um, I don't know how I don't know what his last contract was, but yeah, he's doing he's doing pretty well for himself over there in Philadelphia. So uh, I think I got me an AJ Brown jersey too. So yeah, he's he's doing pretty good. Hopefully the sarcasm got through there. I hope because I was like, yeah, I, I think AJ's doing okay. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. What a, what a loaded group of guys you played with in high school. I mean, seriously, that's, oh, here's another Atlanta question for you while we're on the topic of Atlanta. I know you're a big hip hop guy. Atlanta's the hip hop capital of the whole world. Yeah. Do you have a favorite Atlanta rapper or, or like a top three favorite Atlanta hip hop artists? Yeah. Like. I kind of got away from, like, a lot of, like, hip-hop, but, like, I would say, for me, I would say, like, I really like Zaytoven. I mean, I've always liked his beats. Uh, him as a producer, like, I've always liked it. Um, big fan of him. Um, dang, let me think. Um, yeah, I mean, like, Lil Yachty has always been kind of been my favorite rapper for the most part. <laughs> That's a uh, classic one. Yeah, I mean, like, I love. Well, God. we grew up with him, Taylor. Like, yeah. that was like our, our, our. I would say peak years <laughs> of, of, yeah. of that. Like, we graduated high school the same year. I mean, Little Yachty was on top of the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he came out with uh, Teenage Emotions. Uh, I listened to that kind of like on my way to uh, Arizona to sign my contract. So, I mean, like, that, yeah, yeah that was, I don't really have great hip hop taste. I just listen to a lot of rappers. Um, but I actually, uh, this is a big thing. He's going to love that I said this. Uh, Victor Scott, uh, he raps. And so he, I don't know, if, I don't think he wants me to give his name out, but his name is Argo uh, on uh, on Apple Music. And, like, I think he's really good. Like, so he's another Atlanta uh, baseball guy, but he raps as well. So, I mean, he's really good. So that's my, those are really my top three. Oh, and Gunna. Sorry. I don't know why this is. Gunna. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Gunna and Lecrae. Yeah. Yeah. Gunna and Lecrae. So, yeah. Those are kind of like all my favorites. What is like the hierarchy? To, if you were to say like a consensus among the Atlanta metro area of 
what the who are the favorite rappers are like who like who is the number one there oh we oh god that's a you gonna set me up for this um I mean, Outkast, obviously, you know, Andre 3000, big boy. Um, I know back in the day when I was, like, coming up, you know, Rich uh, rich Gang, uh, Rich Kids, like, a lot of people don't really remember Rich Kids. You know, I love, like, going back to their shop boys. Um, you know, like, I got a lot of them. Uh, obviously, you got uh, T.I., Gucci, uh Thug, Gunna, Baby, um, Migos, Migos, like you just got so many guys like out there, and like I'm thinking from kind of like now. There's a lot more, obviously, in the past, but I mean, you, those are kind of like the consensus where like, all right, this guy's a goat. Two chains, um, yeah, you, all those guys are goats. So I like, I like all of them. 